This woman made the most difficult decision she ever had to make. She dumped her husband, a disabled soldier, who was always depending on her care. It might seem cruel, but she had a good reason for doing so. But it wasn't until days after breaking up with him that her face turned pale after discovering an even more shocking truth. Wife dumps her disabled military husband. Days later, her face turns pale realizing this. From the moment Iris's husband came back from war, he was confined to a wheelchair. It was a heartbreaking discovery for the young woman, who had to make some life-changing decisions just to make everything work. Dave was far less mobile and needed Iris's help with many things. He depended fully on her. But Iris put in the hard work daily because she simply loved Dave. But then all of it changed. Iris was exhausted daily after her chores were done. But seeing her husband sleep peacefully in their bed at the end always gave her gratification. It was a sight that symbolized positive balance for the loving wife. A sign that she had things under control. But lately, Dave brought him balance to that equation. The ex Alda started acting strange. He went out late and always refused to say where or why he was going. At first, going out at strange hours was just that, a strange thing. Iris did not look into it at all, it was just something he did. But after Dave's disappearing act kept occurring, Iris started to worry. It was one of those things that builds up, and after a while, it's hard to ignore. The strange hours, the secrecy, it felt like Dave was cheating on her. But how could he? At first, Iris didn't want to believe this feeling growing inside of her. She was accusing her husband of something she had zero proof of. Dave was always kind to her and never showed any indication of being unhappy. So why would he go out to seek companionship with another woman? Iris whispered to herself as she paced around the house aimlessly. But she found something that validated her suspicion. One day, when Dave left the house again in a hurry, without telling where he was going, he forgot his phone. Iris was gathering clothes on the bedroom floor when she simply saw it lying there on his nightstand. It was tempting to look since she knew his password, but Iris wanted to respect his privacy and gave her husband the benefit of the doubt. But then suddenly, a text message came in. The phone screen lit up, and a name popped up, one that Iris did not recognize. Who the hell is Vanessa? The worried wife was already on the verge of looking into her husband's private life, and this text message was the exact thing that got her over that moral hump. She opened Dave's phone and read, can't wait to see you tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Last time was great. Iris couldn't believe it. These messages proved that her husband was messing around outside their marriage. Iris felt anger building up inside her body. And that frustrating feeling only grew more severe when she scrolled down through Dave's conversations with Vanessa. The texts were short but were always just a little bit too friendly. And when Iris saw the dates, she realized it had been going on for almost a year. Iris's eyes were glued to the screen of her husband's phone. She read through countless texts and got angrier after reading each one. This was so out of character for her, but reading about her husband's misfits when leaving the house made it all worth it. There was only one problem. Iris was so invested in Dave's texts that she did not hear that her husband had made it back home. He was already at the end of the hallway and around the corner of the bedroom when she first heard his voice. Honey, have you seen my phone? He said as he opened the bedroom door slowly. Iris almost dropped the phone out of shock but managed to place it back on the nightstand in time. She grabbed an old shirt from their bed and started folding it, acting like she was actually doing laundry. Iris presented Dave with his lost phone and watched as he strolled away in his wheelchair. She always saw him as this innocent man who had been dealt a lousy hand during the war. But these messages proved he was just as much a pig as any other guy she dated in high school. But if she was going to confront him, she needed more proof. And Iris did not have to wait long. Because just a couple of days later, she noticed something peculiar when helping Dave into bed. Dave mainly was an independent man and tried to do a lot of stuff by himself. But Iris found some comfort in helping her husband into bed. But this time, it was different. When Iris helped Dave out of his wheelchair and into bed, she smelt something. 
It was a perfume-like smell, definitely a woman's fragrance. The odor was faint but there. And just that little bit of scent, making its way into Iris's nose, was enough for her. She snapped and let go of her husband, who fell backward on the bed. He pushed himself up and looked at his wife with a confused look. What's wrong, honey? But Iris said that he knew. She asked him if he was seeing another woman. But Dave reacted appalled and denied everything. Dave's pure and horrified reaction was something she did not see coming. Her husband was terrible at lying, and she could usually tell when he was hiding the truth. So maybe she was just imagining things, perhaps there was a reasonable explanation for it all. Iris grew silent and didn't discuss the topic again that night. They went to bed, and Iris tried to move on. But then something happened that turned her stomach. The next evening, Dave told Iris that he was going out again after dinner. According to him, he was meeting up with some military friends for drinks. It was possible, of course. But for some reason, the situation still did not sit right with Iris. So when Dave left the house, she decided to follow him. And it was good that she did because a shocking truth came from it. The trail left behind by Dave lets Iris deep into the city. It was around 8 o'clock in the evening when Dave finally stopped his wheelchair. No bars were around, and no friends were waiting at the street corner to pick her husband up. Dave spun his chair in a full circle, looking around anxiously the entire time. It was like he was scanning the area, checking if he was fully alone. Where are you going? Iris let out while hiding behind a large metal dumpster. After a short intermission, Dave continued his journey through the city, and after about 15 minutes, he made it to a house. It was clear that Dave needed to be there because he rolled up to the front door confidently without stopping. He rang the doorbell, and a woman opened up. She greeted Dave lovingly, leaving Iris devastated. Her worst nightmare had just come true. She expected this for some days now, but a voice inside her head always ignored the painful truth. Dave was cheating on her, and that woman must have been Vanessa. Iris had all the proof she needed and drove home angrily after that. She hurriedly started packing all her belongings. She did not want to be in this house any longer than needed. So when Dave eventually came home around 11, the house was completely turned upside down. Almost all of Iris's belongings were packed in boxes and stuffed inside her car. Dave asked what was happening, and Iris finally spoke the magic words. Don't act so stupid. I know you have been cheating on me. I'm out of here. Iris let out one last scream before driving off. But this wasn't the end. Iris booked a hotel in the city. It was only meant for a few nights so she could get her bearings. She needed a plan for the future, one where she could deal with her cheating husband. But she also needed a plan for herself. She needed a new place to live, one she could afford as a single woman. And while she thought about these scenarios, the woman called Vanessa kept entering her mind. The next day, after a mediocre hotel breakfast, Iris set out to go to the shopping mall for some much-needed distraction. Dave had been calling her all night, and ignoring him took a lot out of the young woman. She needed positivity in her life, and browsing antique shops always brought her happiness. But the minute Iris stepped out of the hotel lobby, her world was turned upside down. The hotel lobby doors closed behind Iris, and she was just about ready to take her first steps toward recovery when she spotted something across the street. There was a coffee house there, and inside sat two individuals. It was her husband, Dave, and the woman from the house. They sat at the table closest to the window so Iris had a perfect view. They were chatting and smiling, but then Dave did something. It was something that should have been impossible. At least, that was what the doctors always told them. She saw Dave push back his chair inside the coffee place and stand up on his own. What the hell? He can walk? Iris spoke in a loud voice that made pedestrians around her flinch. Was he lying about their entire relationship? Iris did not know what was up or down anymore. Was anything true? Dave and the woman stepped out of the coffee shop together and hugged momentarily. Iris wanted to scream from the top of her lungs. 
but the car-filled street and roaring engines would cut out her message before it reached the other side. So, if she did scream, it would only annoy the pedestrians around her even more. No, that was not the time or the place for her to freak out. Iris observed the woman and her cheating husband from this safe distance first. She isn't even that pretty. She is much taller than him, and what kind of stupid name is Vanessa, anyway? Dave and Vanessa started walking along the sidewalk together, and Iris followed them parallel on her side of the road. They were oblivious to her presence, but that did not make it hurt any less. Tears were streaming down Iris's face. The heartbroken wife tried to cross the street when the tears calmed down a bit. She wanted to get closer to listen in on what Dave and that woman were saying. But traffic made it hard for Iris. Cars kept cutting off her way across. And even when the motorized vehicles seemed to stop, other pedestrians took over and swarmed all around her. It was like the universe was messing with her. When, after much struggle, Iris finally managed to cross the busy intersections, she saw that Dave and the woman were already far away. They had reached a parking lot at the next block of houses and were getting into Vanessa's car. At least that was what Iris presumed since she didn't know if this woman was, in fact, Vanessa. But that didn't change the fact that Iris was too late. She saw them drive off together and eventually leave Iris's view. So, with a defeated and bowed head, the sad wife walked back to her hotel. She sat on her bed and pained her head, trying to devise a timeline for all of this. She recalled the messages she read on Dave's phone in her mind. She thought about when the texts began and when her husband had started acting strangely. Iris didn't take long to put most of the puzzle pieces together. She quickly realized that Dave had been acting off for almost a year. It was just not that obvious at the beginning, so Iris never took notice. But learning what was happening, combined with the texts from that woman Vanessa, it all became clear instantly. Was he cheating on me the entire time? How can he lie to me for that long? Iris felt that she got upset again. But this time, she did not feel tears of sadness. This time, the waterworks were caused by rage. She felt anger toward her husband. The one person she trusted above all else. She put in years of hard work, caring for his ailments and ensuring he had everything. I was right to get out of there, and now I want to be done with this relationship for good. Yes, Iris wanted to be done with her destructive relationship, and she wanted to be done with it quickly. So that same day, she called a lawyer and asked the dear man to set up some divorce papers. She wanted to be free of her cheating husband. A man who used his fake disability to keep his gullible wife dumb and happy. Well, that ends right now. Iris said with confidence in her voice. When the divorce papers arrived a few days later, Iris was at her mom's house. She relocated there for the time being. It was much cheaper than staying in a hotel all this time. Plus, mom's breakfasts were much better, and she liked the warm and welcoming company. Iris's mother admitted that she was also shocked after hearing the news that Dave cheated. I never expected a thing, the old woman said. And the fact that Dave could also walk again added insult to injury. Iris's mother was proud of her daughter. You are choosing yourself in this scenario, and you can never go wrong with that. Iris laid out the divorce papers on the living room table and asked her mother for a pen. She signed on the dotted line with trembling hands, ending her marriage. At least on her part. All Iris needed now was a signature from Dave. She dreaded it because it meant she had to face him again. But it was something future Iris desperately needed because it meant closure. But little did she know that Dave Scribble would never make it onto paper. It sounds sad when reading like this, but the reason for the signature never making it onto the divorce papers will probably surprise you. Because a huge surprise was waiting for Iris, and that surprise was much closer than she could have ever imagined. Iris asked her mother for the car keys, fully intending to drive over to Dave's place right away. But she would never make it there because something was waiting for her right behind her mother's front door. And when she found it, it changed her entire outlook on life completely. Iris had the divorce papers in hand and said goodbye to her mother. 
She took one last deep breath, and while she exhaled, she convinced herself once more she was doing the right thing. And with no one contradicting her, she walked over to her car parked in front of the house. Iris placed her hand on the doorknob and twisted it clockwise, opening it outward. Off to Dave, she said with a straight face. But the moment Iris opened the front door, she was stopped in her tracks. It even took ten seconds before her first footstep landed on the ground beneath her because when the view outside the house was revealed, she was confronted with Dave's face. He had come over to her mother's home to talk to her. And apparently, it was very important because her cheating husband had tears in his eyes. The wheelchair she had pushed around for the last few years was gone. The man she thought she knew stood on both feet and was now taller than she was. It still was a sight she had not fully come to grip with. She knew Dave before his military service, and he could still walk back then. But that felt like ages ago. Dave was holding a bouquet of flowers and presented it to Lily. Hey honey, surprise, were his first careful words. Iris didn't respond at first. She just looked at her husband in shock and silence. But after a brief intermission, Iris started to verbalize her thoughts. She got angry and confronted Dave about everything she had gone through. You know that I've seen it all right. You filthy cheater. Iris balled her fist, indicating that she was about to hit the man she used to love. But for some strange reason, Dave did not seem phased by all that anger. The ex-soldier kept holding out the bundle of flowers and stared at Iris without blinking. He was always able to do that. Looking straight into my soul, I always called it, Iris thought to herself. Dave figured that Iris probably read his texts to Vanessa and... But Iris interrupted Dave before he had the chance to finish his sentence. Iris took off the conversation. She was always the shy one in the relationship, but no more. Yes, I read the texts. But I found so much more. What about the perfume that was all over your clothes? Not to mention that I saw you two together. Yes, I spotted you and this Vanessa woman at the coffee house on Grover Street. I'm so done, honey. Iris said with a smirky face. Dave took all of this fire coming from his wife without interrupting once. But when Iris was done, he said she was all wrong about everything. He admitted that what she saw and smelled was correct. There was no denying any of it. But the meaning behind it was not at all what Iris made it out to be. I can explain myself, and when I do, I hope you can forgive me, Dave said. Tears were streaming down Iris's face as she reluctantly promised to listen to Dave's explanation. It was clear that Dave was nervous because Iris could see the flower bouquet vibrating like crazy in his trembling hands. Dave was never nervous, so this was also the first one for her. The ex-soldier let out a long, deep breath and then started explaining the situation. And what he said was completely unexpected. Iris, please listen and believe me when I say that I never want to do anything that would hurt your feelings. And I'm sorry that my secrecy caused you all this heartache. But Vanessa isn't my mistress. She is my physical therapist, and over the last year, she has been helping me to walk again. And as you can clearly see, the dedication eventually paid off, Dave said, pointing at his legs. Dave continued with a story Iris already knew. He said that after his wartime accident, doctors told him that he could never walk again. And that statement was true at the time. But a little over a year ago, I started to feel something again. It wasn't much, just a tingle in my big toe. But it was a feeling doctors told me I would never experience again. Dave's eyes were watery as he continued. Dave saw this as a sign. A message from the universe that he could force his own destiny. So, he set out to make that destiny a reality. He made multiple calls to experts all over the country, but many of them were reluctant to help for some reason. Eventually, Dave found a local physical therapist named Vanessa. She wasn't some big corporate therapist. She even did most of her work from home. Dave scheduled a session with her, and even though the outcome looked bleak, Vanessa still took me on as a client. Because of the likelihood that this wasn't going to work, I kept you in the dark. I didn't want to make you happy with something that could fail in the end. So, 
I kept going to therapy alone. Lying about the whole thing and hoping that I could surprise you. So, surprise. David ended his story with a huge apology. He looked at his wife with tear-filled eyes and lifted his arms once more. The trembling bouquet was between them, and a promise was made to never keep secrets again. Iris was highly emotional and crying at least as much as Dave was. She even dropped the divorce papers on the ground because of it. And then she did something completely unexpected. Iris somehow believed every word that came from Dave's mouth. Before all these mysteries occurred, Iris always thought she had a sixth sense when it came to Dave. Somehow, she just knew when he spoke the truth. And even though Iris questioned herself a lot over the last couple of weeks, she now knew these words came from the heart. Iris accepted Dave's apology, and she jumped into his arms. The couple kissed and hugged for at least five minutes before finally catching their breaths again. Iris said that she loved him and that she was also sorry for ever doubting Dave's intentions. Dave smiled in response and finally gave his wife the cute flower arrangement, which he held in his sweaty palms the entire time. But there is also something else. I have another surprise for you, Dave said carefully. Iris looked at her husband with a confused look. She was just happy that she had her loving man back again and that he wasn't cheating on her. What more could there be? Dave declared that he went into recovery therapy with a clear goal in mind. Of course, he wanted to walk again. But that walking had another purpose. I worked by but if so I could ask you to remarry me, Iris. Iris and Dave were already married. The ceremony took place shortly after Dave's military service time was up. The engagement took place before he got shipped abroad. But when he got back, things needed to change. He was suddenly confined to a wheelchair, but that didn't change how much Iris loved him. And her vows at the time reflected that. They were full of heart and were fitting to the situation. Iris told every guest present and Dave that she would love him forever. She would listen to every wheeled story that left his mouth, try to be the best wife in the world, and always take care of his needs. At the time, both of them knew what that meant in theory. But even Iris had to admit that the care for Dave was sometimes tough. Dave started to speak again. I want to remarry you, and this time purely out of love, free from all this debilitating burden. Iris couldn't believe it. She placed her hands on her cheeks and looked in awe as she saw her man drop to one knee. He had thought this through because he already bought a ring for her. The ex-soldier asked Iris to remarry him on the doorsteps of her mother's home. And, of course, Iris said yes. This day was crazy and went by completely differently than Iris expected. But she could honestly say that she was ecstatic about the outcome. I thought I had said goodbye to my life's love, that I was traveling toward a future alone. And instead, I am now wearing a brand new engagement ring. This is crazy. Iris grabbed the divorce papers from the ground and ripped them apart right before Dave. After that memorable moment on her mother's doorstep, Iris grabbed her belongings and moved back into their old home. It was a welcome sight, and together they started planning for the wedding to be. The ceremony took place just two months later. It wasn't lavish or expensive at all. Just a small, cozy wedding for the two of them and some close friends and family. Even Vanessa was present on the special day. Iris and Vanessa met each other shortly after she moved back into the house. And wouldn't you know it, they had a lot in common. The two women even became good friends, so in the end, Iris invited the physical therapist to their wedding ceremony. She was forever thankful for Vanessa's hard work and dedication. Because of you, my husband is able to walk again. We are forever in you debt. Before the long-awaited I do was spoken, it was time for the vows. They were beautifully written by both Dave and Iris. And this time, they didn't mention caretaking or Dave's disability at all. They were now finally married as equals. And that thought made the remarried couple very happy. It is now as it was intended all along, Dave said with a satisfied smile. They were ready for anything now. After the marriage, they continued their happy lives together. It was free from the physical burden and the mental worry Iris had before. 
From time to time, Dave still felt the injury in his legs. Mostly when temperatures outside changed drastically toward the cold front, but he was improving every day. And if it stays like this, it doesn't bother me. This is something I will live with gladly, he said. But the most important thing about this entire situation was the thing that dwarfed all the wows in the world. It was that Iris and Dave were back together again. They found each other and were determined to never let go. Their relationship felt honest and full of love. And this time, they could also add healthy to that list. The future was bright, and they were walking toward the sun together.